For the vast majority, the past few years have been a time of unprecedented economic pain. Bills have rocketed, the supermarket shop is getting more and more expensive, and keeping your house warm is unaffordable to so many. <laughs> Families struggling to keep a roof over their heads and food on the table. Constituents in Coventry South and across the country having to choose between heating and eating. The Office of Budget Responsibility says it's the biggest hit to living standards since record began. But while it's a cost of living crisis for many, things have never been so good for the wealthy few. In the past decade, Britain's billionaires have seen their wealth go up threefold. It now stands at £634 billion. The richest 50 families in the UK have more wealth than the bottom half of the population. The problem, like I've said many times before, isn't that there isn't enough wealth in this country. The problem is that the super rich have hoarded all the wealth. And that, Sir Robert, brings me to today's topic. Because while the wealthy, while, while the majority are struggling like never before, the wealthy few have never had it so good. And it's reported that the Conservative government wants to introduce a tax cut that would overwhelmingly benefit the very richest. Roughly 5% of deaths result in inheritance tax being paid. And according to the Institute for Fiscal Studies, abolishing this tax would hand the richest 1% of estates more than a million pounds each. Yeah. Another study found it would disproportionately help people in Conservative-held constituencies, particularly those in the South East and London. So it's little surprise why this is the tax that Tories want to slash, in a move that would cost the public purse almost £15 billion by 2030. So Robert, slashing taxes for the richest and squeezing the incomes of the, for the rest. This is the opposite of what we should be doing. And as colleagues in this debate have said, and I repeat again, there is another way to go about it. We could tax the richest and fund our schools and hospitals. An annual wealth tax of just 1.5% on assets over £10 million, for example, would raise about £12 million a year. Equalising capital gains tax with income tax rates would raise another £15 billion a year. Introducing a windfall tax on bank profits could raise £20 billion in a year. I'm hoping the Minister makes notes, these are good suggestions. And ending the nom dom tax break for the super rich would raise a further £3 billion a year. So Robert, this is money that could be used to invest in our communities, reversing Tory austerity and rebuilding our crumbling public services. This failed Tory government has failed to do this and won't uh, for the, the remainder of its time, but it must be the mission of the next Labour government. Thank you.